Morning, everyone. Jen Matthews here, Chief Salsa Mom at Salsa Babies. Okay, so today's episode of Jen's Bubble is a little bit different. Today is like a video confessional for me. Um, hence, very spur of the moment. Hence, no makeup. I haven't even showered yet today. <clears throat> I just got back from one of my kids' school. So it is 8.30 in the morning. It is a Wednesday morning. And my video confessional today is on children. Man, like why is there not a book on raising children? Or why, <laughs> why can you just not know before you have kids how hard it's going to freaking be, man? Okay, so my oldest is 11. And we're pretty tough parents. We're pretty strict parents. We are the type of parents where we say what we mean and we follow through with it. Um, and sometimes I think those things don't always um, work out so well. But then I think I also know the repercussions of not sticking to my words. So here's what happened today. So our oldest, who just turned 11, very responsible, very loving. Oh my gosh, she's a beautiful, beautiful child. Helpful, loving, caring, always, always helps other kids. But she's 11 and she's starting to assert herself a little bit, I guess is maybe the word for it. So the last few days, they have to take a school bus to school in the morning. And the last couple of days, she has almost missed the bus because she just dawdles. Um, our kids are not allowed to watch TV in the morning before they go to school unless they get ready really early and then they can watch TV before the bus comes. Um, but typically they don't get to watch TV. She chose to woke up this, wake up this morning and watch TV. She was really, really late today. So we had said to her at quarter to eight, um, the bus comes at 10 after eight. Just remember if you miss the bus, you have to walk to school and their school is probably, um, here comes the strict parenting. Um, their school is probably two kilometers from our home. Um, so that's pretty far in the morning. Um, and this is one of those, like, that's really mother Jennifer. Why did you not think of this threat? Like, are you really going to make her walk to school? That's two kilometers in the morning. Uh, but yeah, you know what happens if you don't follow through with your threats. Um, and she missed the bus. So I made her walk to school. Dude, that was the hardest thing I've ever had to do as a parent. And I drove behind her all the way to make sure she was safe. And I said to her when she was walking, I will drive behind you to make sure you are safe, but you are walking to school. I am not driving you to school. You knew what would happen if you missed the bus. So she walked the entire way to school. Man, it started raining on her. Like the skies are dark today. It started raining on her. It rained on her for three quarters of her walk. She had no hood on her jacket. She was warm because she had a winter jacket on. She had no hood. So she gets to school and her hair's wet. So I'm telling myself as a parent, okay, you are doing your job because you have to teach them responsibility. This is very extreme. I get that. I get it. It's extreme. But it's a threat that we have given. So you have to follow through on your consequences or they're not going to trust you and take your consequences seriously. Why did it have to start raining? Why did she not have to wear her hood? Her hair's wet now. She's going to have wet hair at school all day. Man, like why is parenting so hard? So I drove home from the school, literally, and I know I look awful today. I was just crying because I'm like, why is parenting so hard? Like I feel... I feel like what I'm doing is right. But why does it have to be so hard? Why does raising good kids have to be so hard? Thanks for watching my video confessional today. I'm going to go take some time to get myself together now. I hope you have a great day and good luck with raising your kids, man, because it is not easy. Bye, guys.